Today we are going over the Unit 8 review and I will be splitting this up because I have a feeling this is going to take a while. So I may even have to split it up into three videos. We'll just see. We'll see how long it takes. Okay, here we go. Number one. For what values of x is the expression undefined? Okay, if you want to know when something is undefined, you want to make sure your denominator is factored and set it equal to zero. And that's all you have to worry about. If it wanted to know something about vertical asymptotes or holes, we would factor numerator and denominator. But if all it wants to know is where something's undefined, all we have to do is factor the denominator, set it equal to zero. Okay, so first I look for a GCF, but there's not one. Then I know that there's three terms, one, two, three. So I'm gonna A times C rooftop it, and it's gonna be the long one. So A times C, two times negative two is negative four. And I want the numbers to add to make negative three. So I'm looking for two numbers that multiply to make negative four and add to make negative three. And those are a negative four and a positive one. Okay, so this is the long one. So I drop, replace, drop. I drop the first term. I replace the middle term with these two guys that we found. Negative four, don't forget his x, because the middle guy has an x, plus one, don't forget his x, because the middle guy has an x, and drop the minus two that's in the back. Okay, once you have this step, where there's four terms, one, two, three, four, we factor by grouping. So I group together my front two, and I take their GCF out. And do you know what it is? 2x. 2 is the greatest number that can divide in 2 and 4, and they both have an x. Okay, so now to get it back, 2x times x would give me my 2x squared, and 2x times negative 2 would give me my negative 4x. And remember, whatever you put here, copy it over, back it up, and figure out what times x would make 1x. Well, 1 would. 1 times x makes 1x, and 1 times negative 2 makes negative 2. Okay, so then whatever you put here and here, you copy one more time. And then whatever's left over, which is the guy in the front and the guy in the middle, goes in the other set of parentheses. So 2x plus 1. Okay, so that's my denominator factored. So now all I want to do is set this equal to 0 and solve. So I'm going to take my first factor x minus 2, set it equal to 0, and then I'm going to take my second factor, 2x plus 1, set it equal to 0, and solve those two equations. So the first one's very simple. To get rid of subtraction of 2, you would add 2, and if you added 2 to both sides, you would get 2. So that's one place that x is undefined. And this one, you would subtract the 1, so if you subtracted the 1, you'd have a negative 1. And then you undo multiplication with division. So you divide by 2, and you can't divide. Negative 1 by 2, you can't reduce it. So we just leave it like that. So these are the two values where this problem is undefined. Positive 2 and negative 1 half. And that is answer choice B. Okay, so if all it wants to know is where the problem is undefined, only focus on the denominator, make sure it's factored, and then set each factor equal to zero. Okay, next one. We're multiplying. So we need to factor anything that can factor, and then we're going to cross out like factors on diagonals and like factors vertically. So I can factor everything here. So I'm going to start with this guy. This guy is an A times C rooftop. Easy one. So A times C is negative 3 because 1 times negative 3 is negative 3. You want the numbers to add to make negative 2. And do you know who does that? It's a negative 3 and a positive 1. Those two multiply to make negative 3 and add to make negative 2. Okay, so that's how this guy's going to factor. You can go straight to the parentheses, put the two numbers you found in the back, so minus 3 in the back, plus 1 in the back, 
and to get t squared, t and t would go in the front. Okay, the denominator. This guy has no GCF, it's two terms, one, two. It's a difference of squares. This is the one that factors two sets of parentheses, one with the plus, one with the minus, and then you put your square roots in. The square root of t squared is t, because t times t is t squared, and the square root of one is one, because one times one is one. Okay? Now, this guy has a GCF, and that's what you're always supposed to look for when you factor. Start with that. So it has a GCF of a three. I'm gonna take it out. Three times t is three t, and three times negative one makes your negative three. Okay, and then this guy, there's no GCF. It's three terms, one, two, three. So I'm gonna a times c rooftop, and it's another easy one. So a times c, one times three is three. I want the numbers to add to make negative four. So I'm looking for two numbers that multiply to make a positive three and add to make a negative four. And it's a negative three and a negative one. Okay, because it's the easy one, I get to go straight to the parentheses. I get to put these two numbers I found in the back. So minus three, minus one. And to get my t squared in the front, I put t and t. Okay, now this is where the fun begins, hopefully. When you see like factors on the diagonal, you can cross them out and also vertically. So I see that this t minus three up top can cancel with the t minus three below. Those guys are gone. I can see this t plus one on top can cancel with the t plus one below. And the t minus one on top can cancel with the t minus one below. Either you cancel these two out or you cancel those two out. It doesn't really matter. I'm gonna do the one on the diagonal. So all I have left in the numerator is a three, and all I have left in the denominator is a t minus one. And so that makes my answer D. Okay, so multiplying, factor, 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 and then cross stuff out that looks alike, either vertically or on a diagonal. Okay, this next one is division. And I know that when you see division, you need to change that to multiplication and multiply by the reciprocal. So I'm gonna flip this other fraction over. So the 10 will be on top and the m squared minus four f squared will be on bottom. And the first fraction just stays put. So this is keep, change, flip. I keep the first fraction. I changed division to multiplication and I flipped the second fraction. Keep, change, flip. So we don't divide fractions, instead we multiply by the reciprocal. Okay, so now it's just like the problem above. I wanna um, factor anything out that I can factor, but there's only one thing that looks like it can factor. This does not have a GCF, it's not a difference of squares. You can't factor if there's no plus or minus sign. Um, but this guy, he can do something. There's no GCF, but this is a difference of squares. My exponents are even, and four is a perfect square, and I have my minus sign. Okay, so this guy is gonna be two sets of